There we go. Ooh. <laughs> it's a bit of a tight fit. That's what she said. Badoomch. Okay. Right. I'm just going to check if they do any uh, do the bits here. Internal. <gasps> They've got one here. They've got one here. Ah, oh, forty-nine credits. Boom. I have one of them. What else do we need in here? I presume that actually gives you the. Uh... I'm not just down to house grandma. All oh, right. Okay. Oh fucking hell. Right. Let me just look at these names ascended. <laughs> yeah, I need to go through all that um, malarkey. Right. Okay. Buy a weave shield. Okay. Don't need that. Don't need that. Fuel scoop. I don't actually need a fuel scoop. <laughs> look, an A6 one. What the fucking hell rate does that? Pull out there. Uh, planetary vehicle hangar. All right. Well, what's what, what? Okay. 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 We'll buy it. <gasps> oh, get slots. Get slots. Scarab. Yay! I got a scarab. I could. Hey, I could have lots of scarabs. Right, I need to. Uh, D8. Oh, watch! Jesus Christ. Right. Uh, I'm just going to go with them because I need uh, a bit more uh, power plant. What's the old power plant? What's the best one I can get? E8. B8. Five minutes. I tell you, I'm going to have. I'm going to have no money here. B8. We'll go for A7. No, let's fuck it. We'll go for an A7. <laughs> uh, reduces module performance. That seems a bit of a stupid thing to say. Uh, FSD. Right, okay, let's go FSD. Uh, A6. Alright, these are all 7s. Right, that's five million. Well, I think we should go with that one. A6. Uh, right, thrusters have improved. Power plant alloys don't really matter. Power distributor have increased. Fuel tanks. Uh, 65 is already fitted. That's fine. Got the scarab. Um, cargo rack. Let me just see if there's anything else. Respect refineries, refineries, shield generators. Okay. Oh, I, did, I could actually do with a fuel scoop, couldn't I? That's a bit pointless, that fucking ding there, isn't it? Scoot rip. Let me just compare. Oh, actually, fuel transfer refinery. That's just I'm trying to buy stuff as I go. Uh, Rene, sorry, I bought the um, vehicle holding bay or the vehicle bay for the planetary vehicle hangar. I've got the planetary approach suite, haven't I yet? So sorry, to fit it up for 49 credits. Uh, shield generator, that's fine. Sensors. I don't actually think I need anything else apart to go down to the planets, do I? I'm not. See, I've got all these fucking hard points, and I'm not even going to bother. Okay, I think I've got everything. So let's have a look. Wheeler's claim, high security. See, is that friendly or is that not friendly? Okay. What does this plus 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 mean? 
Anybody know what the plus 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 means? <gasps> Van Goit silo. Okay. I tell you, it's great seeing all these things. Right, set, set filters. Uh, landfall planets and moons. Settlements. Yep. So. Alright, so I can actually go into the... These have got settlements on. I actually think we should go to Van Goit silo. Van Voigt silo here. What destination? <laughs> yeah, it could be, could be the size, but yeah. Uh, but then you've got that one there, which I've highly seen Van Voigt silo, which is obviously looks bigger. It looks like a city, but there's no plus plus plus. Hmm. It'd be one of those that we work out as we go along, and if anybody does find out, then please be don't be afraid to shout out. Right. We are going to go there. Anyway, so we've got the planetary suite, we've got the scarab. Whoosh. I wonder if you can actually do anything with the scarab. I wonder if you can upgrade that yet. God knows. <laughs> but we can go down to the planet. Uh, this is going to be interesting, actually, to, to how the hell we do that. Ship released. This is where I get told off for loitering again. Okay, thrust is a little bit better. Right. Okay, what's my. Rebuy is 940. That's not too bad. Fuck it, let's boost out. <laughs> yeah, you might be right there, Dr. Mike. Uh, it has a pub. Well, let's see. Two. Let's see what happens when we get Engage. there. Uh, yeah, I will do, actually, I'll, and then we'll check. When I... Uh... Right, let's just drop down. I don't think I can actually deploy them while... Because you won't actually see them, will you? You know, it's really annoying. I can't actually see. No, this thing is still blue. Yeah, because actually, in Super Cruise, you can't actually see them, can you? Hey, my speed dropped. I love that with Gusted Zero. <laughs> yeah, normally when I've, when I've taken the cutter out, I've smacked it into everything. So I thought, I'm banging the middle, I'm lined up, hit the hit full throttle, and then boosted. <laughs> and see what happens. <laughs> it was like, eek. Excuse me, coming through. Yeah, yes, uh, I do apologise for sniffly snuffly. <coughs> Starts of a cold, which is uh, rather annoying. But welcome everybody to the stream. Uh, I will be streaming quite a bit of uh, Elite Dangerous 2.0 this week, so by all means, feel free to uh, drop by on an evening. Uh, there may be some daytime streams on Wednesday and Thursday, because uh, I'm on them two days off. So uh, if you're around during the day, then feel free to drop by. I will be announcing it on Twitter as well, so if anybody does watch uh, my Twitter feed um, from time to time, uh, Geekbyte UK, so twitter.com forward slash Geekbyte UK, follow me on there. And uh, I will announce when I stream. Hopefully I'll be able to put this back through on Steam later. I'll re I'll, I'll re-download via Steam. Once now I've got that one working, so should be good. Should be good. Right. Um, okay. So that has changed. Ooh, it's got rings. It's got rings. This. Ooh, hello. Alrighty. Right. I haven't read the manual on how to do this, so we're going to suck it and see kind of thing. I don't know if I should really say that phrase with you lot around. Okay, so that planetary. Now, do we just fly straight in? You know, dart bob job. Plop. Or do we need to approach it with a bit more finesse? I have no idea. 
Let's just make sure these modules are active. Blind Street Vehicle Hangar. Uh, basic Discovery Scanner. Okay. Not really sure. <laughs> yes, I know you fuckers would like to see that. See, it wouldn't surprise me if I'm actually supposed to be at the other side of the planet because this seems to be taking even longer to get there. I bet, actually, that is the entry point and you've got to line yourself up because I think I've got to go around. I'm pretty sure of it. I bet I've got to go around because I actually don't think I'm moving very much here. Right, let me just... Uh... Hmm. Right, I think I've got to go around. Right, okay. So, yeah, I, I did think it was on the other side of the planet, but I didn't know if you could swoop down at this side to then... Right, I need to fly away from the fucking planet now, don't I? All right, Van Gogh, so, so the alignment is nowhere near. Okay. See, it's all these things we're going to learn as we go along. We may crash into stuff, but we shall learn. Right, I need to get away from this planet because I'm only travelling at 200 kilometres per second. There we go. That's a bit better. See how sexy does the inside of this ship look? I mean, that is just sex on legs. <laughs> yeah. Right, still got to fly around the bloody thing. Alright, still need to fly away. <laughs> it certainly is. Right, let me just fly further away. Alright, I'm getting out of the pull of the planet. Oh, okay. There it is. Ah, it wasn't even... Ah, see, it wasn't even the big planet. It wasn't part of it. It's this little thing down here. Van Goit Silo. Van, why do I want to call it Van Goit? It's Van Voigt. God's sake. You imbecile gas. Okay, we're slowly turning towards it. Right. Just gotta be very careful of these rings, I think, because these planetary rings may affect. Right, helps if I actually go to the correct fucking planet, doesn't it? Right, here we go. <coughs> right, let's slow up a little bit. Now, do I need to go to that side then, or is this going to allow me to fly around and enter at this point? A little bit flickery on the old textures, but I'm sure they'll fix that eventually. Unless there's a lot of... Um... Oh, hello. I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but there we go. I should really watch the video now, you're just supposed to do this. Okay, so it's basically saying I've got to be in the in the blue. Alright, we're coming into land. Onto Van Voigt Silo. 
Now you can see the cannon canyons and the potholes and then I need to 36 kilometers per hour I'm definitely the other side of the planet to where I need to be dropping from orbital cruise glide engaged Yeah, it's actually you are literally feel like gliding because it's very twisty and floaty and there's nothing that you can really do at this precise moment we just need to keep dropping so the right hand side seems to be the height indicator Glide complete. Right, we're now into suborbital, I believe. Maybe. So that was the entry glide. I'm actually waiting now to see. That's not a bad view, that is it? Shame that my okay. Oh. Right, I think I might have to actually fly around the planet to get to Van Goyt City better, if you know what I mean. Because I'm at the wrong side of the actual silo there's actually <laughs> all right okay so i'm 531 kilometers away over that side all right okay all right we deployed the hard points just for harcuna so we can or calls in rather, so he can have his little fetish moment. I don't know why I can't get the camera to work though. Oh, there we go. How fucking cool does that look? Does that look nice or does that look nice? <laughs> See that one's got found a flip the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> no. But does that look nice? I'm glad I've captured that. Um, oh, the actual lasers are underneath on this. Oh, okay. Right, I'm going to retract. Tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to climb and then head out and then try and actually go in at the proper area. Okay, let's just go 90. climbing again steadily. I think the gravitational pull on this is actually quite high.
So I'm going to go suborbital again and then hopefully get out of the atmosphere and then zing around to the actual point, which is the Van Voigt silo. Because I've got that targeted as planetary outpost, but sadly it's um, quite a distance away. Yeah, yeah. Just give it. There we go. Must be coming up nearly to the. Kilometers. Uh, I will do hefty. Uh, pretty much A5 on virtually everything. All the top A rated, apart from stuff like life um, support and things like that. Uh, beam lasers, multi cannons. You know, I'm not sure. Oh, actually, I wonder. Frame shift drive. That would be why. Right. Okay. There isn't a ship um, trajectory set. Okay. There. Engage. Right. So as long as you clear that suborbital bit, then you go into like glide phase. And let me just scroll that over. Right, here we go. Here we go. Do you know what you're gonna have to do though? This is gonna be your best bet. <laughs> it's flying around the planet like this. Okay, can you see it? Can you see it there, kids? Can you? Can you? Can you see it? There it is. There's the little dots. I hope you're watching this in 1080p on full screen so you can see it because there's little dots there. Ticky little dots, which is Van Voigt silo. Oh, yes. Still, you've got less than 24 hours to pick up Elite Dangerous for £9.99 on the Elite Store. Click that link. And dropping from orbital suit glide mode enabled. Here we go, we're gliding in, folks. We're gliding in. Oh, yeah. I wonder if I've got, I presume you're going to have to request docking, aren't you? Here we go. Right, I'm backing off this speed totally. Glide complete. Look that hiss. How goes that? Coming into land. Right, okay, so let's go to contacts and void silo. Docking request denied. Alright, oh, so you same same process, you need to be seven and a half kilometers. Docking request denied. Docking oh there's the cloud display. Just don't cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No pressure. Cheers, Chaos. Alright. No pressure. Landing gear deployed. Landing gear deployed. Okay, just as we're coming into land, so you guys can see it. Oh, what the fucking old loading landing bay was on? Seven. Okay, so I am that second furthest one. Yeah. The ASP probably would have been the better choice for coming into land here, but to be fair, yeah. The Clipper is a nice ship. Oh, yep, there's somebody down there. Oh, it's a sentry drone. Can you see a little sentry drone moving about? Uh, 
Right, we are backing off slowly, 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 slowly. Right, we're li no, we're not lined up. We're slightly sideways. Right, let's move forward. Tickling in, tickling in, tickling in. Okay, no. The thing with this is it boosts that quick, it, but it's like a tugboat trying to stop it. It's where this is where voice commands, as in voice attack, will be damn handy. Okay, have I done the usual coming the wrong way? I have, haven't I? That seems a bit... Me no, I've, I've, I've come in the right way. Why did it not? Okay, I'm a bit confused now. Okay. Right, that is perfect. I am nose level. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, hi Ryan Paul, welcome along to the stream. This is the beta of the new um, expansion and it is planetary landings. We have not seen planetary hand landings before. So, oh, we'll turn six credits on there. So. Uh, restock. So, no, I don't need to buy a scarab. Right, okay, so we don't want to do that. But can we actually launch from here then? Or do we actually have to go into. Oh, right, okay, so you press 3. Um, so yes, we're trying this out. This is fresh out today, uh, beta 2.0 for Horizons, which is the new expansion that's due out just before Christmas this year. Uh, it can be a little bit, uh, Ryan, uh, but it's got a steep learning curve. The game always has had any curve, but this will be... Um, okay, we're going to deploy. <laughs> it is indeed, yep. Yeah. <gasps> da, da, da. Okay. That sounds really stupid. I'm not entirely sure how to operate this thing. <laughs> yeah, it is, yep. Yeah. Depends where you are in the world, um, Ryan. But yeah, it's 9.99 in the UK. Flight landing override, blah blah blah. Flight miscellaneous, blah blah blah. Weapons, cooling, miscellaneous. Driving, driving. I've got no steering left and no steering right. Yeah, but your 15 US dollars, um, Ryan, will probably equate to roughly about 9.99 anyway. <laughs> right, okay. Turret mouse, SRV, your left.
Right, I've got to... Uh, <laughs> I've got to settle these to my joystick controls by the looks of it. Because I suspect... Uh, yeah, that's set, that's set. Left shift. Hmm... Forward on the throttle now, uh, pitch up. Okay. Right. That steering. I don't know what to do with this. Where to do with? Uh, yes, yeah, it ends to tomorrow for us as well, Ryan. <coughs> you got less than you got about 20, 20 hours until it runs out. Now, do I do steering access that way? Twist. Uh, left, steering access, right. We shall see with that one. I don't know how this one's going to play out, but we, we'll give it a try. Could completely cock up, but we never know. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Oh, I'm in turret mode, I'm in turret mode. I don't want to be in turret mode. How the hell do you get out of turret mode? <laughs> oh my god, I haven't got the option sorted out. Right, scroll it down. Uh... Oh, what's the fucking toggle? Resume. All right. Oh, okay. Oh shit. That's actually. Um... I need to set a dead center throttle for that, and I've, I need to swap the yaws round on it as well. Oops. I just exited the game, didn't I? There. Guys, you knob. Right, uh Right, driving. Steering left button wants to be that way. Steering right wants to be that way. Da -da -da. Okay, so uh push down C Driving turret control, drive throttle. Uh, oh, I wish there was one for full stop. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be a drive throttle for full stop. You either seem to be coming and going. Mm. <laughs> well done, Chaos Splinter. Well done, that man. Well done, that man. Proud of you. Right, eh, uh, fuck it. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Right, let's just go into uh, solo play. Because I don't want to get the shit kicked out of me by any, any noobs. Ooh, look at that. That's the Scarab. Oh, yes. Whee. <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa, hello. I 
that is so there's no indicator as to what your throttle set up right just stop uh, yes Mars is in this game Ryan it's the whole known universe is set out fucking hell the Okay. Right. For some reason, when I twist, it goes the opposite twist. So I have to put full lock left on to go right. They're a bit strange, but it, do, it can be dependent upon the, part of the gravity as well, Chaos. Oh, it looks like I'm sneaking backwards there. <clears throat> it depends the uh, planets vary I'm not actually technically in space uh, I'm on a planet but it has variety of um, gravitational pulls on various planets so we're just <sighs> oh did I uh, uh... Dry throttle, that's invert axis. That that was set as default. <coughs> um, right, okay, so we'll go over that. We'll try that now. Hopefully I can drive the fucking thing this time. Right. Ugh. There we go. Meow. Oh, it's very twitchy, very twitchy, this SRV. Wow. <laughs> Shit. Yes, we have boosters. <laughs> oh, fuck it. I hold silver! Oh, shit, that didn't really work, did it? Oh, oh, oh. I always let the fucking loony on the planet. Who's always let the loony on the planet. Uh, you can do, or you can... I, I, I do, because that's how I prefer to do it. Um, but that's how I'm doing it. You can probably hear my joystick squeaking, actually. Uh, this is a paid DLC. This is the, the big, big major expansion. Right, should we go off somewhere? Uh. Oh, somebody's coming in to land over there. Oh, do you know? That's not a good idea. Always seems to want to dive off to the left. Right up there. It's a Goliath. Oh. That is one of the um, centuries. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's go wandering. Let's go off ski. Oh, hello. Alright, okay. That kind of knobs up your controls a little bit. Uh, possibly, yeah, it probably is actually. I'll tell you what, it's a twitchy little bugger. Mind you, flight is, uh, the assist is off. Let me just throttle back to to zero. 
Oh, zero. Ah, behave. Right, I'm just going to uh, check the options and <laughs> apologise for having to keep tweaking these options, but damn, it's twitchy. Alright, okay, so toggling the SRV is that headlights is L. Handbrake, um. I'm just wondering if the uh, there is a switch for uh, fire the SRV weapon. It's got to be that. Um, but the the toggle. for um, flight assist it's said so there should be one on the actual vehicle as well but I can't see anywhere that it says driving target in the head handbrake Maybe it's that. No, we'll have that toggle. We'll try that. See if that drives a little bit better. There we go. Yeah. That's easier. But if you want to do some mad rad skills, then you can do roly roly. Oh dear. I'm gonna do some 360 loop de loops. Look at that power slide. Oh, that's better. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh god. Um, yeah. Actually, I'm probably actually better off with that as a toggle to hold. I'm just flying. <laughs> oh dear. Now this obviously is just one of the planets. Other planets will have different, oh crap, different gravitational pulls and different masses that get affected by the gravity, obviously. Oh dear. Oh, hello. Boom, Peter. Right, so that's the big ass city there. Alright, because that's picking up all the planets. There's a scanner. All these ships, rather, with the scanner ahead. Um, you need to kind of go around that. Can you do free look? Oh, yeah, you can do free look. Right, let's just swap to the turret. Oh shit, oh, I'm in the no fire zone. Shouldn't really fire there, should I? Sorry! Yeah, yeah, Mark, if you don't throw up with this, I'll be very surprised. <laughs> Surely I'm outside the zone now. Oh, 
Oh, no, still in the bloody zone. What? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right, I think we need to do a lot of reading up on this to find out what, where and why and what things do. But as they say, there's uh, a hell of a distance to check out. I mean, I've only travelled that far away. There's the old little scarab. There's the old boosters that propel you into the air. Yep. It is really when you think, when you consider that when you look up there, oh well, uh, that's a bit sickly. Oh, can I wander off here? I can fly away from it. Okay. Here you want for a bit of recon? You see the little, um, off to the right of the base, just as I point down and look in the middle of the screen, you can see the little dust and that being kicked up by the sentry droid. Another ship coming in, another ship coming in. What cool is that? Huh? Holy shits and giggles. Right. What have we got on board then? What modules have we got? We've got that data link scanner. Does anybody what that fucking thing does? Alright, okay, so. Um. just going to put that in because I'm presuming that's in the options as well to fire the data link scanner <clears throat> I really might have to tweak some of the settings so that they feel natural uh, drive and set oh, okay so I can uh, I can hold that that's better that's what I was after Pitch axis. All right, okay. Offer it at. I want to be there. Okay, I'm B. Right, that's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, I I can use a controller, but it means I've got to get another controller. I've got already got a. I've got a joystick, hands-on throttle and stick. Uh, I've got a mouse uh, and everything, so. Right, that state has not fixed because I asked the flight assist, uh, sorry, the um, assist to be on. <sighs> Controls. Right, let's just fucking scroll down. It's so difficult when you've got a fanny about. Um, driving assist, default assist, drive assist default is on. Right, okay, which is what I want, but it's actually showing us off. Right, let's just change that to toggle. Let's just resume. Right, okay, so that that is definitely assist on at the moment. <coughs> now let's go down to... Say... I know it's a bit boring going through these menus and that, but you guys might come up against this as well, where you think, do you know, how did I do that? And if you've seen me do it, then you might be all right. So we'll resume. See, it's off. I don't want it off, because that means it's driving. I want it naturally on, but if I click my pinky, 
which I've got a pinky switch on the joystick, then it'll turn it to assist off. So that means I'll skid around. It's like what I do in CQC, uh, not CQC, in um, in space. Ugh. I think that might be a bit of a bug because it's not actually allowing you to set it. Right, so we shall go to toggle. Uh, 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 uh. Right, okay, so let's go back to game. Let's go to resume. Fire groups, that is on two. actually wondering what when you use that data link scanner hmm right just um Honestly, at the moment, Alex, it's a little bit of um, a combination of both. Um, in the sense that if you buy it now, it's nine ninety nine. If you don't like the game, but if you buy it as a package, I think it works out cheaper. So just give me a minute, guys. I'm going to be two minutes.
turn your back for two seconds <sighs> the cat jumps in your seat right let's resume again so now I wonder if there's anything you can go off and I'm a bit confused with the scanner at the moment I'm wondering if you can actually upgrade this as well. Oh, you actually get fuel on this thing as well, don't you? <laughs> right. <laughs> Fire the pew pew guns. Well, the last time I got bloody told off for this. I don't know. Told off. I'm, I'm apparently in the no fire zone. Oh, hang on. What's all this shizzle? Some rocks. Can't pick that up. So what we got? Ah, uh, yeah, seven and a half kilometres. Yeah. Uh. Oops. Let's just take me to this up. something um who's your caddy uh literally you need to uh, in your outfitting screen you need to have a vehicle hanger uh, installed and then you need the planetary landing kit or whatever it is um right what i'm going to do is i'm just going to turn this around to roughly where the station is right okay There, right. I'm going to try. Okay. All right. So you can do it that way. Right. So I need to go. I think another twelve hundred meters or so. Oh, there we are. No fire zone left, yay! Oh, hello. It's the same thing as on the ships, you need to uh, set the weapons to. Uh, uh -huh. So you can fire it while you're driving, but if you want accuracy, then you need to uh, obviously go in. Yeah, because somebody can manually target the gun. If you need to, I, you can drive around. But you only get to point that that way. Oops. 
Oops, like that. Right. Let's bugger off a little bit further away then. Uh, not as such, um, but there are aliens called Thargoids in the Elite Universe, but they have not been revealed yet. But from from previous games, there's definitely been Thargoids. Whoosh, baby. Ah, see, when you do that, you can't actually flip it. A bit of a bugger. See, I tell you what, this is taking an absolute donkey to get up to this uh, ridge. I mean, <laughs> this is just uh, like a, oops, a ridge to get to. They did say the scale was going to be impressive and it would take, can you imagine trying to, just this planet, can you imagine trying to circumnavigate it completely, just round it, how long it would take you? You'd actually run out of fuel. Oh, absolutely, it is huge. Oh, hello. I think, it, I think it must have hit a big rock there. What I want to do is that ridge up ahead, I want to actually get up it. But it looks like it's going to take fucking forever to get there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you everyone for uh, dropping by. Um, if there's any questions that you want to ask or if there's anything you'd like me to try and do, then by all means just um, let me know. Uh, there's no story mode, um, Ryan. The only thing that happens is from time to time there's things that are called community goals, um, but you pretty much do your own story. It's a sandbox. You create your own story as such. Um, but these community... Ooh, hello, hello. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. That's a bit vicious, doesn't it? Um, the, um, the story mode... Uh, sorry, the, um, the community goals as such, they are pretty much for you to get involved in. They may be take Palladium to um, a certain point, a certain station to help it being built, or take um, Bacon to Bacon City. Right, okay. Uh, okay. Right, see how far I've got not. Right, let's see. Can I actually hit the three? <gasps> recall ship. Right, look, look. Should we recall the ship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could take Bacon to Bacon City. Oh, hello. My ship's arrived. Over there. Hey, we'll check out the ship. Look, it's landed. There it is. There's my ship. Now, this is where you'll get some kind of scale of the ship. I mean, the Scarab is a fairly compact and foldable uh, little SRV. Alright, oh, okay. The turret is stowed away now. Okay, they're big steps.
I don't know why I'm stuck going backwards here. Okay. I'm sure that is where I'm supposed to be. But it seems to be that it hasn't... Uh, the actual loading bays... ...has disappeared. What the hell is got... See, I'm stuck... It keeps getting stuck in reverse. the ramp <laughs> boo <laughs> can't launch into it See, that is supposed to drop there. See, this hatch, this was actually um, dropped. It was glowing like it was the landing pad. Now, for some reason, I can't actually, it will actually drop again. See ya. And it was gone. Okay, right. We shall just call that back again. This is an angle, isn't it? See so that now has got the legs coming down, but there's also the loading bay underneath, which is actually glowing. Uh, now, Axon, you can only do in full numbers, so you can you you can bet. It like two. Okay, that's gonna be a night because that's so you can still do your bank ice, just do two. You have to do bank ice two. It's disappeared again. Hmm. Right.
I have dipped full or Oh, you look like you Hmm. See I can't actually This is very bizarre. That's the other one. That's where I am. To, if you want to go to Grey Blanding. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, calls in, managed. Yeah. See, that's my ship, but this hatch is supposed to open up. Allow me to dock again. And it isn't. Which is a bit bizarre. Hmm. So why then can I not get into the ship yeah well that's why I just looked to cause in because I can only dismiss the turret is naturally down that's down I can't do anything to the ship, just the SRV, and the only thing that's option is um, dismiss ship. Uh huh. So, really, I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> oh dear. I can't even get in my own ship, that's a bit of a worry, isn't it? Right, okay. Let's see if there's something in the... Uh, no, I don't want to go. I want to go to options. Uh, controls. Okay. Is there something that I need to do that I haven't done? Oh, I've got lots of finds. There, you should see my other account. Uh, my live account, rather. Not this account, because this is a snapshot from a few weeks back. I've got quite a lot of finds for smuggling. Yeah, you can just hi all you can do, Corzen, is you can highlight it. You can't do anything else. You can't do buggery. So yeah, when you go to the contacts, all I can do is highlight myself. I can highlight um, Van Voigt, and I can lock the target. But when I lock me on my ship. I still can't do anything. I can only dismiss it. Um, see, my turret isn't out. So I don't honestly. I can only dismiss the tour, dismiss the ship. There it was gone. So 
So when I'm here, I can reach all the ship. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be able to dock and it did the first time that it came down. You see underneath where I'm just pointing now, there's a little glowy thing that's coming down and that's the boarding point for your SRV. And that seemingly is disappearing, which is not good. Oh, it's there now, it's there. Right, retracting the turret. I did wonder if it's just a process because I, I didn't have my turret out. Alright, okay. Oh, do you know this clutch, this clutch, this, uh, this is going to be a bit awkward because it's not sensitive, it's too sensitive. <laughs> well, isn't that a big fuck you then, isn't it? Uh, oh dear. Hey, Vaki, where are you doing, fella? Um, yeah. I was the distinct trouble of actually <laughs> getting into my own ship. <laughs> oh dear. Y you can't request docking. You literally, you have nothing. See, I can't even select myself now. I can lock the target over there, but I can't actually lock me. Yep, even my ship doesn't like me. I can't even request me. That's how bad it is. Right, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sit here while this takes off. Right, dismiss ship. Well, that's, um, oh. oh well. The ship has become sentient. Yeah, you're not wrong. Little buggers. Right, I'm going to go back to Van Voigt Silo. Oh, eight kilometres away. Oh, hello. Oh, rock and roll. This is going to get tasty on landing. Oh, hello. There we go, that's better. Let's go back to the base and then we'll see if we can actually uh, land, uh, land board the ship.
so easy to spin this thing even with uh, driving assist on. <laughs> uh, no, definitely I've got the scoop out. It's a bit bizarre. Because you can drive around with your scoop down. I've got my cargo scoop down like that. I'm not entirely sure why you'd, uh, how you how you actually use that yet. I'm actually just floating along here. <laughs> Hardly touching the ground. I'm just using my jets to keep me up. Bump, ba dong, wee, boink. Hey, Greg, how you doing, fella? Welcome along, welcome along. You want epic Star Wars music? Epic Star Wars music? See you later, Cow Splinter. See you later, dude. <coughs> hey, Chaotix, how you doing, fella? So easy to spin these things, even with only. Uh, Driving assist on. <laughs> yeah, we'll let you off. That's not how you spell it, but yeah. <laughs> it was indeed Chewbacca. I have a really bad feeling about this. Indeedy. Right. He could be knows it's somebody else's ship. Drive back around to where my sheep sheep ship was. He might still be there, I'm not too sure.
if you're playing uh, open, which is PvP orientated, then yes, you can be attacked by other players. Off they went. There's three modes that you can play in. You can play in open, which is uh, against AI and other players. <coughs> you can play um, in private groups, which is basically you and your friends. Uh, yes, you lose your ship, but you have what's called insurance. And on this screen, if you look at the bottom where it says the balance for millions of credits, underneath is the rebuy cost. Now, that is of the ship you are currently... Um, controlling um, my current asp uh, that I'm flying in in the actual game is uh, uh, I think the rebuy for the specification is something like 1.2 million credits right let's get over it because my ship was part of it yep pretty much here you have insurance Entirely sure where my ship was parked. Right, okay. <coughs> right, I cannot recall my ship to here. Which is a bit annoying because I can't actually get back in my ship. <laughs> I was hoping I could recall him to here, but seemingly not. Because it's telling me I have to leave the settlement. Oops, hello. Skiddy, skiddy. So, three and a half. <laughs> yeah, there's no third person in the game apart from the, uh, the external camera. Because it's been with it been a dog fighting uh, simulator that they chose not to go with it because they didn't want to have some people flying around in third person and have a better view of the battlefield or uh, things than the actual other pilots. So. It, you know. I don't know why the command for board ship actually is. Because if you notice on the right hand side where board ship, handbrake and cargo scoop is, there must be a command for that somewhere. But I shall have a look at that in a minute once I before I call the ship. Yeah. Okay, we're not far off. Then 
once I get to within calling range of getting my ship to come back. Right, let us just check the options again. Controls, right. That's all the flight which I don't need to change. Uh huh. See, that's all the options. And I don't think there is one to actually... Uh... Board ship. Uh, when you're when you're actually in the ship, uh, Sergeant, what you need to do is when you're in your ship on your three panel, which is your centre panel, it drops down and then there's an option to deploy or leave ship or something. I can't actually remember. Oh, hang on. That's taking 30 seconds. It was only taking four seconds before, four or five seconds. There he is. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I'm just trying to work out how to get back into my ship. I just don't seem to be able to do that at the moment. Which is a bit of a pain, but uh, not to worry. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm pretty sure... The turret's stored away, you see, because it knows it's... At some point I'm going to have to be going to this ship. See, it's fucked off again. That just does not stay out. So I'm a bit confused, see... Proceed to boarding point. Yeah, I've tried that. I've had to send it away for it to come back again. I, I, I've I tried everything at the moment to try and get it to do what it should do. When it's So I've got it targeted at the moment. I'm crawling over some big-ass rocks here. Come on, slow. Thank you. 
and I'm on the contacts there I've got myself contacted if I hit space to bring up like you can with that doesn't do anything <laughs> which is a bit of an awkward situation so I don't know what else I'm supposed to do So, uh, if anybody knows, then answers on the postcard, please. Because I am the foggiest. <coughs> oh, see, I can't activate the turret because I'm too close. Uh, right, let me just... Uh, let me just back off. And then see if this changes. Still can't choose that. So it says proceed to boarding point, and I can't actually choose that. Uh, I've tried that calls in, I've just been back and like when you're actually there you can't actually recall your ship either. Cause I went back to platform seven. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> it's gonna be something really obvious, but So you've got that targeted. See on this right hand side where the fuel gauge is, right over there, this cargo scoop which activates. I haven't got the handbrake set, but I've got nothing to board the ship. Now usually that's a toggle, but when I select here, I can't select proceed to boarding point either. I can only dismiss the ship. I've got nothing actually on the ship. I can activate the tour. See that di that wasn't there before, and I haven't moved. I think it's a bit of a beta problem. Uh, uh, uh. So I'm a little bit uh, wondering what the hell I'm supposed to. Because she, to me, you should be able to. Oh, hello! I just shot my own ship there. Yeah. I'm shooting my own ship. How cool is that? Oh, there's damage I can do to my own ship. Pretty much none then. <laughs> the shields are, are there laughing at me going, oh, oh, oh. Huh. <sighs> right. <sighs> right, I'm going to dismiss the ship again.
Mm. So when you dismiss him and then you bring him back, he shouldn't have to go back to where you were because he's supposed to come to you and you're supposed to be able to load back up wherever you are because otherwise you're in trouble. Right, so we recall the ship. There he is. There's a ship approaching. See, that is still... Not allowing me to actually. Uh... Oh. So I'm just tickling my own ship. <laughs> it is quite good that sergeant, and it's very nice, and that you can recall it back, but just to watch it take flight while you're sat there. So it's probably one of the nicer looking ships, actually. This. See, it knows it's storing the turret because you're getting close, but the actual bay that I need to actually load my ship up isn't activated. It should be here. Well, I'm going to have to do a bit of reading up on this, actually, and find out what the hell is going on. But, in other news, I need to go to bed because I've got an early start again tomorrow. <coughs> um, there will be a stream tomorrow night, again, playing this. Uh, we'll do a bit of reading. Uh, hopefully there might be little patches here and there and see what we can do and we'll find out. Uh, in the meantime, guys, if you find anything find out anything please drop by the stream tomorrow again uh we'll, we will try to work out the problems we shall go off to other planets uh we'll see what else we can do uh, see what's actually changed um but uh thank you for watching i'm gonna have to go sneeze in a minute because i feel like i've got uh, ugly nose um but cheers for watching everyone i know it was a bit uh, a bit late in starting because of the patch problems um, but I shall see you all again very soon. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys.